Climate change is happening right in front of us. Floods in Delhi have dominated news in the month of July 2023. Capital city of India, that is Delhi, was all flooded on July 8 this year. Delhi has received an excessive rainfall of 66% during the time period of 1st July to 16 July this year. Delhi has witnessed in fact highest single day rainfall since 1982. Yamuna River in Delhi experienced an unprecedented rise reaching to an alarming height of 208.48 meter. This dramatic surge resulted in flooding of nearby streets, public facility and private infrastructure. School, colleges and offices were all shut down. The overflowing water of Yamuna inundated several areas including Kashmiri Gate, ITO, Rajghat. 2700 people were evacuated from their homes. Now do you think climate change was responsible for Delhi's flood? Well, answer to this question is yes, it was climate change which has resulted in 66% excess rainfall in Delhi. This rainfall has broken all records of last 45 years. Extreme rainfall witnessed in Delhi has been associated with a phenomena that is known as urban heat island effect. Now cities have concrete part, tall buildings, less tree cover and other factors which absorb solar radiation. Temperature in urban spaces is increasing due to urban heat island effect and cities are becoming heat islands. Temperature increase in urban Delhi due to climate change has been recorded up to 0.6%. Now this sudden increase in temperature due to urban heat island effect can lead to the formation of low pressure zone. So Delhi was under low pressure zone in the month of July 2023. And we know that monsoon clouds move from high pressure zone to low pressure zone. Bay of Bengal was under high pressure zone and therefore monsoon clouds all drifted from Bay of Bengal towards Delhi. Accumulation of monsoon clouds resulted in heavy rainfall in Delhi. While monsoon clouds accumulated over Delhi, another phenomenon of western disturbance was active in that month. Western disturbance is an extra tropical storm which originate in Mediterranean region and bring sudden rainfall in northern parts of Indian subcontinent. So western disturbance basically originate from Mediterranean Sea, Caspian Sea and Black Sea. And in this process, moisture laden winds from Mediterranean region entered in Delhi resulting in heavy downpour. The heavy rainfall in North India is primarily therefore due to interaction between western disturbance and monsoon. Second reason which has been quoted for Delhi flood is overflow of Yamuna river. Yamuna originate from Yamunotri glacier in Uttarakhand and it covered total length of 1376 km before merging with Ganga at Allahabad. Yamuna crosses Uttarakhand, Himachal and Haryana before entering Delhi. At Hatnikun barrage of Haryana, Yamuna water gets diverted into two canal, one into Delhi and other canal into UP. As for Delhi, the excess water due to these rain in Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand areas got collected in Hatnikun barrage of Haryana. Basic science tells us that excessive construction in hilly area result in deforestation and flood. During extreme rainfall, water in Hatnikun barrage reached to its maximum water holding capacity this year and therefore water was released from this barrage which eventually resulted in Delhi flood. Compare these two satellite images. What do you observe? Yes, there was significant swelling of Yamuna river in the month of July 2023. Another reason behind Delhi flood is illegal settlement and uncontrolled urbanization. Delhi grew haphazardly with influx of refugees from partitioned India and increase in workforce requirement for building capital city. This resulted in encroachment on Yamuna floodplain and on natural water bodies. Refugees started building kacha houses on floodplain along Yamuna. The planning era propelled urbanization in 1950s and 60s all across Yamuna floodplain. 1982 Asian Games brought more than 1 million migrant laborers from neighboring states. Little or no housing facility was provided to these workers and therefore they eventually settled on the banks of Yamuna. These migrant laborers were involved in building flyovers, a sports facility and luxury apartment for the games. There is also a strong relation between climate change and migration. Environment degradation has resulted in climate refugees for several decades. With long spells of drought in village, irregular rainfall and harsh conditions, agriculture is no more a viable option for, for livelihood for many. Some of the most environmentally degraded areas in the country 
have pushed people out, creating large influx of migrants in cities. Proliferation of illegal colonies in Delhi have not only affected Yamuna floodplain, but has also resulted in narrowing of natural drainage system. By 2004, almost 350,000 people lived along Yamuna as per the estimate. These people earned livelihood by working as a small vendors, factory workers in the nearby Chandni Chowk area. So population boom outpaced Delhi's ability to build proper sewage system. Few unauthorized settlements were definitely evicted by government in 2004. But whatever land was acquired around Yamuna was used for the construction of capital intensive projects like Akshardham Temple, Commonwealth Game, Metro, Highway etc. So Yamuna floodplain and riverbed were grossly abused for construction and encroachment. Map clearly indicate that use of Yamuna floodplain was done for the construction of Metro, Akshardham Temple and other facilities. Floodplains are very important because they have water absorbing property which can protect against devastating flood. So floodplain have absorbent type of soil that can soak water in case of flood. But as the map indicate, now very less space is left in the name of floodplain of Yamuna. With encroachment on floodplain, river swells during heavy rainfall. Delhi flood is also associated with another reason and that is elevated riverbed. More than 20 bridges within 22 km river stretch have already been constructed on Yamuna water right from Wazirabad to Okla, which leads to silt deposition in riverbed. With increase in elevated riverbed, flooding was observed in Delhi. These extreme rainfall events have become much more frequent and intense over past years. These events impact communities, particularly those that are marginalized and often at receiving end of destruction. It is important for all of us to take climate change seriously.